Hi Flosstube, hi Stitchy friends, it's Jennifer and I'm stitching in the bluegrass and I think it is February the 11th, maybe. It is Saturday and it is a beautiful sunshine day here in the bluegrass state of Kentucky and I just got back from returning from um, running some errands with my husband. So I am going on a retreat next week. Um with some girls that I have been getting together with for the last, I don't know, 25, 30 years. Um, it started as a scrapbooking retreat. Um, the last couple times, like several years ago, I would bring my crocheting. And the last couple times that I've gone, I brought cross stitch. Um, so it is a craft retreat for all four all the things. <laughs> so we just get together and we just hang out in a cabin and we craft and eat and talk. So um, I wanted to say welcome to the new subscribers and I talk with my hands a lot. Um, it's so weird doing a floss tube by yourself. I wish I had a buddy. Like pretend to have an imaginary friend here. Um, but I'm in my sewing room and I can't wait to get back to stitching, but I thought I would come on here and do a floss tube and talk to all of my stitchy friends because that's what it's about, right? That's what floss tube is about is to being able to connect and be a community and encourage each other and all the things. Um, I have a couple finishes, well, FFOs that I wanted to share. Um, I did my little Valentine pillows. I still need to sew the back of them, but I made these cute little Valentine's pillows. Um, I've already showed them before, but I finally got them into pillows. And this is my little love quilt. This one is by um, Salt and Pepper Stitching, I believe. Um, she had posted this freebie on her Instagram. And this was a freebie by uh, Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting on her blog. So I just made these just cute little pillows to sit around. And this one is um, the Hands-On Design um, monthly series. And this is my February. So, yeah, just simple pillows with some red fabric on the back but at least they're done and they can be uh around my valentine tree i have been watching brenda and the cereal starter which i do constantly um but i saw an old video where brenda made a um mat like just a little plain mat so this one is Stitching Makes Me Happy. I've showed my finish before, but I just sewed it up into like a little mat. Um, but I, I kind of had some questions because I bought these canvas bags at um, Hobby Lobby. I thought about putting it on one of these bags like sewing up and make a little pocket. Or should I stuff it into a pillow? Or should I just leave it a stitchy mat? <laughs> so I haven't decided yet. Um, I have some little buttons, like little wooden buttons that I thought about putting along the top. Um, so I can't decide yet. I love this design. I forget who it's by right off the top of my head, but I know I've shown my finish before and um, it's probably on my Instagram account. I'm sure um, Instagram is spunky Jen. So I can't decide what to do. I, I just thought that would make such a cute little pocket on the bag. So 
if you would like, tell me what you think. Tell me in the comments. Um, or should I just leave it like a cute little mat just to have around? I could put it by my stitchy chair. So let's, talk, I guess let's do whips first. So I have been like cranking this thing out. This is Teresa Kogut, um, for the love of nature. So I was talking to my friend Michael today or yesterday, last night. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> she is Sweet Woodruffs on Instagram and she had started doing some smalls because she got inspired by me doing smalls and I started doing some big guys because I got inspired by her doing all the big samplers. So it's kind of funny how that works. Like we're just, we're just all in the stitching craze together. So I started on that and I have it in my project bag that my friend Beth made. Um, she is Beth Wixon, and she, oh, I have to show you the inside. She does a lot of model stitching, um, mostly for Kathy Barrick. Isn't that cute? I love it so much, and I love this size bag that she makes. Um, but this is on 36 count Be Stitch Me on peanut I can't stop that's really washing out the linen but if I hold it back like this that's more what it looks like but I love this so much I'm stitching one over two and this is the 36 count I think I said that but um, so last night, uh, we were watching wrestling <laughs> and I finished this little flower and I started on the, this is a tail of a squirrel. So I was so excited to get down to some of the animals. I'm using my own colors. Um, I kept the colorway, but some of the colors that I pulled look more purple and I wanted my hearts around the top and the brick house to be more red. So I did change them up, but I am loving this. And here are my colors that I used. I'm really happy with what I have changed. So yeah. And Beth also makes these cute little um, tags and it says, I don't know if you could read it, but it says Nature Queen. How perfect for, for the love of nature. So I, I cannot get enough of this. Like it's so much fun and it's so pretty. And this fabric, like I wish, I don't know how to hold it where you can see it. And it's just totally washed out, but it's so pretty. Such a pretty color. Hold, I dropped my project bag. Ah, everything's falling. Um, but I'm so excited about the retreat next week. Uh, there's another floss tuber that gets to come and she lives in that area where we're going and uh, she is cross my stitches. I'm pretty sure I have mentioned her a couple times um, on floss tube and on Instagram. I finished my February flowers of the month. Um, this is on 36 count vintage country mocha. And this is my January flower and my February flower. And a lot of you had let me know that, remember I was asking like, should I put January, February, or if I should do special different words like 
hope, love, cheer, joy, you know, and a lot of you had said to do the different words and I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to use the same font. Oh, I'm sorry. These were taken out of the Just Cross Stitch magazine, uh, the year of 2020. And every magazine, they'd have two new flower designs. But I'm gonna stitch them all together on this Vintage Country Mocha. And I just love it. I would show you a picture, but I just, I have all the magazines, but I just made me a working copy. So, so now I need to get started on March. So I got that finished. Um, and my butternut house sal that I just kind of started. I, you probably are not gonna be able to tell that I got anything done, <laughs> but I finally got all the mustard done on that house. So yeah, and I'm stitching this one in my Q-snap. Let me tell you what the fabric is, maybe. I know I have it. I've shared it with you many, many times. Let's see. It is picture this plus 36 count fresco. And it's Stacy Nash, Butternut House Pen Keep. So I have all the top done. I have this flower and I have all the mustard done for the house. So yeah. I was excited about that. I love this sampler. It's more, I mean, you know, it's for fall. So it hasn't been like really calling to me. What has been calling to me is samplers. Um, so this one I started, this is the Scarlet House. So I need y'all's help. Um, this is Seeking Refuge. I am stitching on 36 count color and cotton. Assembly R. <laughs> Which I'm, I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> but I did look it up and it means example. So I'm stitching on 36 count color and cotton example. I don't know. Um, but these are the colors and I'm using, so I think that I had not, I have not started a few of these, this one and another one I'm gonna show you because I don't have the fancy floss. Well, Brenda and Laura say it's okay to use DMC. I don't have silk. I don't have all the fancy floss colors. So I went to the Hobby Lobby and I kitted these up in DMC and that's what we're gonna use. So these are my colors. Um, I'm using all the called for. And this is what I have. I love this. It is getting washed out, but you can see I got the borders on the top and I got the roof finished and that little, oh my gosh, that bird. He is so I don't know. He looks like Mr. Bird President. Oh, you can really see the color of that linen. But I love this. Doesn't he just look like so royal? <laughs> 
Anywho. Um, but that has been a lot of fun. And like I said, I don't know why I bought it when it first came out because I had to have it. So you know that I have all the anxiety. It's stupid. But it, the, the quote on the sampler says, when the world seems to be out of control, I find a way to nurture my soul. Seeking refuge with needle and thread, the angst and anxiety no longer I dread. Oh, I'm showing the picture. But yeah, I love it. So, yeah. So I kitted up all the DMC. And I did the same thing with this one. This is uh, Leila's Studio. And this is SL1862 Small Sampler. I have not started this one yet. But I thought I would share. Um, maybe I'll start on it tomorrow. Uh, but look at these colors. These are all DMC. And I love them. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh, they're so pretty. I've got to start this one. Maybe I'll start this today. Because <laughs> why not? And I have chosen a 36 count picture this plus relic. It's going to be pretty. Hard to tell. Getting so washed out. But yeah. I mean it it's so hard to show you guys. Look at that. Oh, I love it. So I put it in my this little canvas bag that I picked up. And this is a, um, like, what she did was she took from the big sampler, the Susanna Lynch, I think. Yeah, Susanna Lynch 1862 sampler. And she created a smaller piece for us. I love that. Look at that moth up there. Look at this teeny tiny dog. It is so sweet. So, those colors, I don't know if because they're, sorry, if they're springy colors, um, they're just calling, calling my name. Stitch me. Stitch me. And let's see, what else do I have? What is this? Oh, I know what that is. I showed you that. This, because when these, when these samplers came out, I snagged, snagged, snagged them up right away um, as soon as they were released. However, I have not started on them. They're, well, these two, this is... Elizabeth Charnelay W by Lottie Da. I love this. So it calls for Weeks Thread and DMC. And I have them both kitted up. I don't know what fabric I'm going to use. So I kind of need your help. Because... I got an order in, um, I usually always order my linen from Hollis Hands Creates on um, Etsy. And I placed an order with her. I do not have a large stash of linen. I do get the color and cotton of the month, 
um, but I don't, ha I mean, I use my linen. I don't save it <laughs> and I don't have a big stash. So I ordered these. This is 36 count pumpkin pie, um, needle bling designs. Yeah, that's what it washed out. This is more of what it looks like. <laughs> it is very pretty. I ordered 36 count hogs bristle by Fox and Rabbit. So I'm thinking Maybe this one. I also ordered, let's see, what's this one? Um, Fiber on a Whim, and this is Hazelwood, 36 count. So I think that one might be a little too brown. Um, especially with all the, I have a lot of brown threads, so I'm leaning more. On this one. What do you think? So let me know what you think. Um, I think that is a very good match. It actually calls for, let's see, let's see. I think it was like white chocolate or chocolate, 36 count chocolate milk. 36 count chocolate milk, fabrics by Stephanie. That looks pretty close, guys. I think I'm gonna use that. I will get my, I'll lay it all out. I'm gonna put that together. So I wanna start on it. I love the sentiment. It says, Lord, may I walk with thee in white and in thy precepts take delight. Love thee with a perfect heart and never from thy ways depart. Rejoice evermore. Something. And then it has her name. But, oh, sorry. Oh, I just love it. I love the birds. I love the quilt, little quilt pattern. And the flowers and that border. So precious. La di da. I think that will go well with the that. I think that will go well with that. And this was another one. I did not have the threads for it yet. This is Jane Plenderleaf. And this is by Needlework Press. Um, I love a good band sampler. Look at this. I just love this. And then it has the house at the bottom with those trees. Oh. So pretty. So this one calls, let's see what fabric. Um, probably something that we can't get. Straw, 36 count straw weeks. And it calls for all um, weeks threads. I have not pulled anything. I just pulled it out of my stash. I knew I wanted to start on it soon. And I want to start on this one. And this one I have the fabric, but no thread. So this is Cardan um, and Shadrach. I love that. Look at those eagles. I know I've showed this before. Um, but I pulled it out because I really want to get it started. 
it does have a DMC list. I have the fabric. It is 36 count straw. <laughs> so, and this one calls for 36 count straw. So maybe I should just decide which one I wanna do first and just use this fabric because I bet you they are the same size or approximately. Um, 111 by 197. Okay. And Shadrach is small, is larger. I don't know what to do. So I have a piece of straw. That does not look like this. However, this looks like that. So let me just keep it together. Let me just keep that like that. Did straw change? Do you guys know? Okay, I'm a mess. So this one will be stitched on 36 count straw linen, just like it looks. But I do need to get the DMC for it. Maybe I can do that. Um, before I go on retreat. And Elizabeth Charnelay, I will do on this. That looks good, right? Jane Plenderleaf. I need some fabric for her. Because I don't, I don't think that I don't think that hazelnut is gonna look good. And I don't think the pumpkin pie will look good. So anyway, at least I have two decided. So I'm ready to go on Elizabeth Charnelay. <laughs> I get so excited. Okay, and then the other ones I need threads for. So, okay. There's that. We got that figured out. Um, I did get my color and cotton um, floss. I get the all colors. So pretty. Does it just look like Easter? This looks like Easter to me. And then I got my fabric. I get 36 count. I don't, this is a beautiful fabric. I have received it before and I absolutely love it. It is called Love Letter. I mean, what a perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, you can't see, but it's, it's not pink. It's more like a, it's show, I don't know how to show linen. It's more like a taupe, taupe with a little bit of pink hue. It's, it looks like it's white in the camera. I don't know, um, but it is gorgeous. Oh, I'll hold it over here. Now it looks pink. So, I mean, it does have a pink cast to it, but that looks really good. So I did get that um, and I was looking on Amazon because that's what you do. You just browse on the Amazon and I came across this. This is called Friendship's Garden. It is a quilt book by Blackbird Designs. It has some quilting patterns in it. It has... Um, some wool applique. It has a couple small cross stitch pieces in it. It has some punch needle. It has some broadery. Uh, but I just I love that. It has all the patterns in it. Um, I just love that. I just it's just it's just pretty to have. 
pretty to look through. Look at this. Alma's Friendship Garden. That is gorgeous. I'm not that talented. <laughs> I cannot do that. But it is so pretty. Um, like I said, it has all the patterns in here. Um, and they show you a couple different colorways. So pretty. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I got it from a thrift books online um, through Amazon. And... I could do that. <laughs> Maybe I could do that. But it was just pretty nice to have. It was not expensive at all. I think, I don't know, I think I paid less than $10 for it. But anyway, so I got that. And that's all. <laughs> so we had uh, my little pillow finishes that I did all the new whips and um i want to start some samplers the sun is going away and so at least now i have some fabric for a couple of the samplers and i have some new fabric to play with i love this i don't what in the world am i going to stitch on this i don't know but i had to have it This would be pretty with a red sampler. Hazelwood, fiber on a limb. It's much darker than what it's showing. I don't know how to show. I don't know how to show it. Why does linen do that? Like I can show you this and it looks like, like this is the color of the red that it look, what it looks like, but I don't know why Linden does that. Anyway, um, happy football Sunday tomorrow. Um, I'm sure we'll be watching it. Neither one of our teams are in it. So, um, I guess it'll still, I think it's going to be a great game. Um, it looks like they're both good teams. Um, I've been watching a little bit of the championship, uh, but I'm a Colts fan. Go all the way back to Tony Dungy, and I also cheer for the Browns because my husband is from up in Akron, Ohio. So anyway, I'm just rambling now. It is so good to hang out with you guys. Um, post a comment. <laughs> let me know. Um what you've been stitching and all the things. And hopefully, um, maybe when, um, I'm at retreat, maybe I can do a little quick videos there, or send some pictures of some other crafters that are doing different things. Um, I know a quilter is going, a knitter, um, cross stitchers and scrapbookers. So it should be so much fun. I, I'd love to be around people that are, um, just, doing things with their hands and making and creating and making memories, right? So anyway, thank you all. Again, I say this every time, but thank you for your encouragement, your support, all the things. And I hope you guys have a great weekend.